So, hey, how's it going? It's been a honestly boring week, and I don't really have a whole heck of a lot to have for you guys for a Sunday video, so I figured it would just be a little bit of uh, me saying hello, and also how much I appreciate you guys. And to let you know, I, I haven't decided what's going to go in the Christmas cards, but if you want to do a Christmas card exchange this year, if you send a card to my P.O. box with an address that I can send you a card to, I will send you a card back. Last year I made um, bookmarks. I might do that again this year. I just have to go harvest some paper bark birch, birch bark off of some fallen trees and make some more bookmarks because those were kind of cool and they were a lot of fun. I, I cut them into bookmarks and then I just took my wood burner and just burned a design into all of them and I thought it was kind of fun. But yeah, if you're interested in doing a Christmas card exchange, send me a card and I will send you one back. Um, I bought a bunch of stamps. I guess if you're overseas, I'll have to probably get different stamps, but I'll figure all that out. But, you know, it, it's a little thing, but little things are about all I'm good for. <laughs> I'm not good for big things. Except the occasional, you know, tote bag, gift exchange, giveaway, whatever you call it. So, yeah, it, it was, um... I don't know. It wasn't a bad week, but it wasn't a good week. It was a very, very rainy, wet, dreary, not overly exciting week. Which I think, I, it's fine. You just kind of, I, I really was wanting a little bit more good weather. But I think we're getting all of the rain that we were supposed to get this summer that never showed up which meant I had to do a lot more watering of my garden since Mother Nature wasn't cooperating. Well, all of that rain that we should have gotten all summer has decided to come now. On a good note, it's not coming as snow, which is good because I think we've had about three or four inches of rain over the last week. And if that were snow, I think it's one inch of rain equals seven or eight inches of snow. So that would be a little bit ridiculous. I'm glad it didn't come down as snow. But it made for a very dreary, wet, boring, unexciting week. Oh well. It is what it is. And that is fine. I I played with my... Played. I I fed my swans a lot. Although I would love to play with them. It's very, very hard. I, I fight the urge with the swans the same as I always do with the raccoons, especially when they're babies, where I'm like, I want to pet you. I'm not going to. I'm not dumb. Well, I can be dumb. But I try not to be dumb. And I keep my fingers to myself because I don't want them bitten. So I don't pet raccoons and I don't pet swans but it's hard when they're only like two inches away from you and you're like, you look so soft, but it's, it's cute. There's the three baby swans and the, the parents and they come several times a day. They'll, they'll walk up the hill now. And if I don't see them right away and go out with corn, they'll start honking. And if they see me walking around inside the house, then they really start honking. And I'm like, all right, all right, I'm coming. I think everything in the Upper Peninsula probably, probably tells their friends that there is some crazy lady that lives out on this little lake who will feed you. It's cool, though. My chickadees are starting to land on my hand again. So, yay, I, I have my little chickadee friends back. And one of the red-breasted nuthatches landed on me today, which made me very, very happy. It's more of a, a winter and early spring thing that they'll come and, and feed from your hands. In the summer, they're too busy raising babies. 
but in the winter they remember, oh yeah, that lady that's trudging to the mailbox always has sunflower seeds in her pocket. So if you tweet, she'll stick your her hand in her pocket and she'll hold it up and it'll be full of seeds and you can just get a seed. I think that's what they tell each other. <laughs> anyway, I have a little bit of footage of my cats because cats are sweet and everybody loves cats. The internet was made for cats. And I've got a little bit of video that I took of the swans yesterday was it yesterday or the day before they were being cute they were all up right by the back door which is where the corn is and they're smart and they've figured that out they're like we know where the corn is so i will probably put all of that here i was going to do video of the raccoons but they're nowhere to be seen tonight um i did go out there with the camera and looking for them and talking but uh i might not even put that in the video because it would just be black because it's kind of dark outside but oh well i can put a really cute picture i did put it up on instagram but there was a picture the other night i put out the the dog food for the raccoons and this one raccoon just peeked up over the edge of the deck and it was very cute and so I took a picture of it so I might put that in I don't know we'll we'll see anyway hopefully this wasn't too boring I I try to have something interesting on Sundays but this week I just had I got a whole lot of nothing other than a Christmas card exchange so yeah if you are interested drop me a card I will drop you a card back I have all of this wall that I can like tape cards to if I get them and I can just tape your cards up when when they come and that would be really cool and it would be it would be mail and mail is kind of exciting I don't send out enough actual mail I'm the world's worst person for all of that kind of stuff like I I try to keep up on my comment section that that is something I try really hard as long as somebody's being you don't even necessarily have to be nice in the comment section although everybody is you guys are great but you know as long as people are polite then I I try to answer every comment unless they're just out and out rude like if somebody tells me that I'm dyslexic or ugly I'm not gonna heart that comment I'm not dumb that's the second time I've said I'm not dumb. Methinks I protest too much. But uh, but as far as like DMs and stuff, I'm really bad about that. I do eventually answer them, but it takes me a long time. And unlike my mother, who was the queen of sending out Christmas cards, birthday cards, anniversary cards, she had all of that under control and well done. I'm really bad about it. I'm pretty good about sending you a birthday text or a happy birthday on Discord, but actually doing a physical card, I'm not good at. Which is why I want to do a Christmas card exchange with you because I will hold myself accountable and send back a card to anyone that sends me one. So if you're interested, the P.O. box is in the description down below. And other than that, enjoy the cats and the swans. Parky, Parky, say hello for the cat tax. It's so funny because he was literally just running around the house like a lunatic, but now he's tired. He ate his dinner. He ran around the house about 12 times, and now he is just ready to nap. Oh, he's a good kitty. Jezebel's over here being the guardian of the book. Hello, Jezebel. Look at you. You're so cute. She's like, yes, yes, I am cute. And this book makes a fantastic pillow.
because cats are very silly. And they are pretty sure that anything that is near them should be a pillow. It was actually really funny. I woke up this morning with Jezebel laying her head on the pillow to the right side of my head and Parky with his head on the pillow to the left side of my head, both of them purring in stereo. So I woke up to kitty cat stereo. It was kind of awesome, honestly. I was going to film the raccoons for tonight. And when I just went out to look, there was nobody there. I was really sad. And then I remembered that it's been a while since I've actually filmed the cats. And I mean, honestly, you can't get much better than cats, even when they're trying to whack your fingers, because they are a menace. <laughs> what are you doing, you silly? Yes, that's my finger. That's my finger. Oh, that's a finger. That's a finger. He's pouting because all he wanted to do today was curl up on my lap. And all I wanted to do today was let him curl up on my lap, but he kept sliding off and trying to get me because he's a menace. Oh, now he's going to be camera shy. Of course he is. All right, Parky. Your moment in the spotlight is over. Do you have anything to say to everyone? Arr. Okay. Should I let you sleep now? Silly kitty. Thank you. 